So yet again, we have some more WikiLeaks emails. I think I'm just gonna move to a once every other day or every few days news for the WikiLeaks emails because they started releasing them every day. And I'm not sure if I have the time to uh, keep up with them. That's why this video is going to be really short. I was actually pretty busy today. That's not to lessen what's inside these emails because they're really bad emails. Maybe even the worst so far in that saying something. Anyways, for these WikiLeaks, it's pretty bad yet again. I mean, we have one about how Hillary got the debate questions early. One here about coordination between a PAC and a campaign, which is really illegal. The Clinton team trash-talking Catholics, which is going around a lot. And a video from the Hillary team showing Hillary team workers saying it's okay to rip up Trump ballots. Something about grabbing a girl's ass before getting in trouble. And all this other bad stuff. And I'll play the video at the end for you guys so you can see it if you haven't already. Anyways, for the first story, this is basically coordination between the PAC and the campaign. And in a leaked email, there's an attachment that shows that the reason that PAC exists is to bridge between the PAC, or bridge between Correct the Record and the Hillary campaign, which is just really, really illegal. And I can't stress how illegal that is because that's basically going under all the election donation laws. Like, the sole reason a PAC exists is to be separate from the campaign. And campaigns might do this from time to time, but they try so hard to cover it up. And this one's really blatant. I mean, they admit to themselves right there. They never intended to tell anyone else, but it's right there. You can go check it out. The next one is the DNC chair before the debate actually said, From time to time, I get the questions in advance. And then she emailed the Clinton campaign saying she's worried about Clinton's answer for this question. And I don't even have to tell you that one is wrong. I mean, this was for a Bernie debate, by the way. I mean, he never had a chance. This was rigged from the start. But you can see right there, they gave the Clinton team that question early in advance so she could prepare for that question at the debate. And I actually, I keep saying debates. It was actually a town hall, but it's, it's the same thing. It's just as bad, so. If I was a Bernie voter, I would be really pissed off at this one. The next one is really simple. It's just the Clinton team trash-talking Catholic. This guy says it's like a bastardization of religion. He's asking why anyone would raise their child Catholic. He's just going off on Catholics in general, which I guess if I was a Catholic, I would be pretty mad at that, but... You can check out the source in the description, it's that archive one, and read it because it can explain it a lot better than I can. And for the last one, this is just a video, I hope it doesn't get striked or anything, I'm just gonna try to include as much credits as possible. I'm sure they won't mind just their video getting... I'm sure they won't mind their video being spread around as long as they're being credited for it, because these guys actually do a really good job of fighting corruption by going undercover. Anyways, they caught a bunch of Clinton campaign staffers talking behind the scenes, and one of them's like, is it okay, well, this is the undercover guy, the undercover guy asks, is it okay to rip up Trump ballots? And the staffer was like, oh yeah, sure, that's no problem. There's also another guy talking about how he would have to grab this girl's ass a few times before he would get in trouble. He was basically bragging about how important he is, I guess. He says something else about doing, like, he said he would have to rip up 20 ballots to get in trouble or something. But you'll see that on the video. Again, I apologize for the short video and late upload. I just had a lot of things to do today. That's why I'll probably move to, like, uh, every other day format or every other few days. But I still want to get these this news out to you guys. So if you follow me on Twitter, I post a lot of these stories before I make the video because... Video making takes a while. But anyways, enough of me talking. I'll play the video for you guys, and I'll see you next time. I don't give a shit. They're not gonna fire me. They're not gonna fire me. I would have to, like, grab Emma's ass twice. I think that the, the, the bar of, like, acceptable conduct on this campaign is pretty, pretty low. I said, in order for me to be fired, I'd probably have to grab Emma's ass, like, twice.
so what you just saw was a Hillary Clinton staffer saying all bets are off at his locker room campaign office. In order for me to be fired, I'd probably have to grab Emma's ass like twice. So let's recap. News organizations across the world broadcasted for days on end a hot mic conversation between Trump and media personality 11 years ago. Undercover recordings of sex talk are apparently all the rage. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. <laughs> Whatever you want. Grab them by the pussy. <laughs> I can do anything. So let's get this straight. Trump's grab them by the generated wall-to-wall -wall TV coverage and generated the narrative that this is his true character and how he acts with women. Therefore, because of the precedent set by the mainstream media, I expect wall-to-wall -wall coverage of this Hillary staffer bragging about the ease they can commit sexual harassment inside Hillary's campaign and not get fired. And to add insult to injury, the staffer who actually said, grab him by the ass and you won't get fired, he actually retweeted that the Oval Office is not a locker room. Again, Trump said, grab him by the pussy. HRC staffer said, grab Emma's ass like twice. No, they're not gonna fire me. Trump, grab him by the pussy. Hillary staffer, grab Emma's ass like twice. Trump, pussy. Hillary, ass like twice. So this begs the question, is Hillary's campaign more of a locker room than the Access Hollywood bus? Well, see who said she wants to go to, she wants to go to Hillary's thing at Coral Springs. Tell her to get in line. <laughs> Tell her to fuck off and volunteer for you this weekend because it's a weekend of action and you can't win votes. I don't know anything about rally. that. Hey, Wiley, I'd just like to ask you a little bit about the uh, sexual conduct going on with the uh, Hillary campaign. Is the uh, bar pretty low? Sorry, guys, guys, could you go inside? Could you go inside? Is the, uh, did you say you'd have to grab Emma's ass twice uh, to get reprimanded? Sorry, bud. Um, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. All right. Thanks. We're so out of here. I had some guy like.